What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are now on episode 3. Currently we are producing quite a bit of naval bombers. Unfortunately it is only 0.4 every day. When I get 50, I'm going to put them all in Guam. Better yet, if I can, if there's an airbase now, which I don't believe there is, it is still being produced uh, down here in Guam. Once all of these start pumping on out, I'm going to be putting about 50 naval bombers here inside Guam. I get that that's not a lot. But that's going to be my number one priority. Research slot available. Uh, I would like to start getting better infantry equipment as soon as possible. I would like to start working on our marines. We should have a 50% reduction. I don't know why we do not. Uh, because the reason why I say that. Our national focus for expand the USMC. Four marines, one and two. Uh, maybe you only maybe you only get one instead of two times research bonus. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we already used it, but that's a little sad. So I guess what our options are now, we are in 1938, almost 1939, so maybe working on better radar first might be our best option. So let's do that. Looking at our current radar, are we actually producing any? No, so that needs to change. Building a level 2 uh, radar station here inside Guam. Wake Island for sure. And I guess down here in the south in Phoenix Island. Now as soon as we start to gear up, I am going to start producing some military factories first before I actually start producing um, some naval units. And mainly because I want to build some bombers. You can see that I'm not really building here on the coastline because if I need to build naval dockyards, it wouldn't make sense to uh, max out all of my military factories on the coastline and not have any room for anything else. I think we're good to go for now. These are quite a bit of military factories. And because military factories are cheaper in general, they are faster to produce. We have a research slot available. We have a lot of political power that needs to be utilized. Let's start with our recon company too. And we probably should get Signal Company 2 as well. Oh, you know what? 1939 is when we get all of our industry. So I made a mistake, but that's fine. I'm not going to cancel anything. Preemptive intervention on Yugoslavia. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> on Venezuela would probably be a very good option. But if I can do anything else like the Giant Wakes or USACE projects, I would do that. But I cannot. Let's get preemptive intervention on Venezuela, though I'm not going to do anything. They are, of course, fascist. I would really like to invade their country. I have no idea if it's going to happen. Most likely it is not. But, uh, man, I would love to have a puppet government in Venezuela. You know what? I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to try it. I have no idea if it's going to work. It's only a game, so we might as well. We have no motorized, which is a little sad. Though all of them are going to be built fairly quickly, and absolutely we are going to need level 3 radar stations first. Level 3, level 3. Uh, there should be a level 3 here. Le the difference between level 1 and level 3 is literally insane. <laughs> it goes from like... This is level 1, this is like level 2, level 3 is like that. Uh, so it's really, really helpful. German Reich has claimed Memel. Another batch of maps is left obsolete. Let's start working on encryption, or decryption, I should say. We're nowhere near... Oh, excuse me. Our number one priority is going to be construction reduction. So we'll do that first. And as we start producing some actual factories... I think our number one priority is to get the heavy fighters and then start pumping out some motorized. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead, create all of these marines, uh, go ahead and deploy them, cancel the rest, uh, looking for marines. I'm going to train only one marine, not going to deploy it, so that way when one of these units dies, we can reinforce it very easily. You will go here. You will go down to Puerto Rico. And we have no national focus. Preemptive strike on Venezuela. 
The Giant Wakes still can't do that. USACE isn't going to be happening anywhere, anytime soon. And obviously, issuing war bonds will get us out of the Great Depression. Let's start with Air War Plans Division, and it would make sense to utilize our political power. Changing our free trade law might be a viable option, but instead, I think I'm going to go with Northrop Grumman because we can finally get more naval bomber range. And I think I'm going to go with... Uh, air experience gain would be very useful. Air accidents chance, minus 10%. Let's go with air experience. That way we can really start to pump out our new planes. And there we are. There went all of my political power. Because we have our silent workhorse, he is doing very, very well. Available war goal is available. <laughs> that sounded so lame. Let's exercise these units. Actually, we need to give them... A new theater and then these ten are going to be given a new theater as well uh, what I want to do is switch these guys around so now our this unit is going to be called the Marines you are going to be called cavalry and you are just going to be defense Okay, so now all of these marines, I want them all to be red. And both of them are going to need a general. Let's give them the most powerful generals we have. Dwight Eisenhower. <laughs> Everybody's doing well. I want everybody to exercise. That way we're going to go from hopefully green from negative 25% all the way to positive 25%. So it's going to go negative 25, then zero, and then positive 25. So I need these guys to train up and prepare. I also need these guys to start a naval invasion. It's going to take a very long time to plan. My number one goal would be to take this area. I have no idea how viable that's going to happen. Are we even starting to prepare? I don't believe we are. Actually, yes, we are. So that is really good news. So we can exercise and prepare at the same time. I would go ahead if I could, and I would do two naval invasions at once, but I can't actually do that because I haven't unlocked it. Sad life. Uh, our infantry equipment has been unlocked, so now we are going to be producing better infantry weapons altogether. Research slots are available. We are in 1939, so unlocking advanced machine tools is our priority, and concentrated industry is another priority. Looking at construction... Uh, it looks like our radar stations are finished up. So much for peace. War is pretty much on the horizon. As you can see, these radar stations aren't that good for now. But uh, they are going to be very, uh, very good in protecting our areas, I guess. <laughs> and protecting our region. So Guam now has an airbase. My number one goal. Pause the game. I want to put in about 50 bombers. It's not a lot. But the entire goal is to basically protect the Mariana region. We have a negative 72% range uh, lacking. So that's really, really bad. I want to put some uh, actual units on Wake Island as well. We only have about 50 for free right now. All of you are going to go to Eastern Micronesia? Eastern Micronesia. And like I said, negative uh, 86% range. Like, that is so bad. <laughs> But not too bad, I guess. It'll improve as time goes on. As we begin accumulating air experience, we can add more range and reliability. Research slots are available. Um, let us go ahead and start working on... It's 1939, so we have pretty much everything we need. Uh, decryption would be very useful, but can we get better Marines? That's going to be our priority. 114 days... Still gaining army experience as time goes on. I don't know if we're actually producing motorized yet. No, we're, we're now producing our heavy fighters. One every single month. That is so bad. <laughs> air War Plans Division. Uh, is all of this air experience should probably be utilized on our next naval bomber, which I believe is in 1940. Where are you? Yep, all of our air experience is going to go into our TBF Avenger. 
And then we'll start pumping out those. But yeah, the more that we can protect our island regions, the better off we will be. Manguku has capitulated uncertain times. Construction level 3 as well. I think we should go with excavation 3. And very soon we're probably going to be only producing uh, military factories in just a moment. I mean, obviously that's all we're doing. But uh, do we want more radar stations? Probably, kind of, sort of. Especially getting level 4 would mean the world to us. No national focus. Um, we can't get the giant wakes, but we can go with support rock island. Our marines are still gaining experience, though almost trained. I want our motorized units up and running, but I don't think that's going to happen. Italy has joined the Axis. This can't be good. We will keep an eye on the situation. So my issue, though, if I declare war on Venezuela, I don't want to be caught in the war uh, here in the east. It's only 1939. But I really would like to own Venezuela. They have a lot of oil, which means if I could cut off this oil, uh, the rest of the world won't necessarily have as much. So they'll have to create their own factories. But I would like to own Venezuela, and I think this would be a very, very tough battle to win. But we're going to try it. All 24 of these units are currently uh, doing their thing, <laughs> I guess. Um, if I moved everybody to Puerto Rico... Then we could really, uh, you know, send in some troops. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Right now, these guys are taking attrition because they are exercising. Let's stop exercising you. Uh, you need to come down to Puerto Rico. And I guess you gotta go to Miami first, and then you gotta uh, go down to Puerto Rico. So we have a little bit of army experience, not a lot. I think what I would like to do is take a quick glance at our actual infantry divisions. Are these National Guard or infantry? What are, I don't know what these are. National Guard divisions. So what I'm gonna do, all of our National Guard divisions are actually gonna get engineering companies, which they have. I don't think they need support artillery though. Let's remove you. And then add some recon companies. So now we have uh, the ability to scout. We have the ability for engineers. I would like to add logistics company. Let's get signal companies because that's more important. And all of these units are going to need a lot of motorized, which we do not have at all. Support Rock Island. How many motorized do we even need? <laughs> at least for now. 371 and we're not producing any. So now that we're supporting Rock Island, we have some cheaper uh, artillery and support tech. Can we really start working on anything else? I think what we want is strategic bombing. Because eventually we could gain uh, strategic bomber range plus 50%, but... Production for tactical bombers and close air support, we would get 10% more. Or 10% more strategic bombers. Having a 50% range is literally insane. So I think we're going to go with combined bomb offensive. Marines 2 have been unlocked. Is there anything else we can get uh, right now? I don't believe so. Looking at a variety of equipment. We have no tanks, though we probably should start working on them. We don't really have artillery. Getting the Mobile Warfare Doctrine is going to be useful, but we don't really have any tanks at all. Should we start working on the Wichita class? Somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Wichita class cruiser. Let's start. Um, I don't think we're going to be building any real naval vessels anytime soon. Okay, uh, let's declare our war. All of our units are pretty much coming on in. We are looking for all 86 of our fleets, combine whatever we can, and we are going to search and destroy around the Caribbean and into Venezuela. Once these units arrive, 
we are going to do our naval invasion. Poland refuses the German ultimatum. We are now in a war, uh, in World War II. Okay, so now, what I want to do is look at... I just completed something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh, I'll find out in a moment. I think it was like Marines 2 or something. But uh, all of our industry is going well. Our engineering, getting better decryption would be nice. And we absolutely want to get the Avenger. Let's do that now. 175 days. Poland has joined the Allies. I'm now going to declare war to puppet Venezuela. I'm going to send in all of these units for now. These units, whoops, cancel. These units don't even have a plan. Yep, so these units have to move first. Our first units of Marines are moving in. Hopefully we can take the port. Looks like it is going to work. Okay, our second naval invasion is going to head all the way down to this port. Activate, it's going to take 70 days, but these 24 units need to make their way on down uh, to Zulia as quick as possible. We are currently, we have a lot of organization creating a front line. It says only nine units are here, but that doesn't make sense. And my entire goal is to just expand whenever I can. So let's activate this. We are going to be moving on in. Our Navy is protecting these lines. Now that we've denied them a city, and we've denied them a port, a level 5 naval base, uh, the rest of Venezuela isn't going to do as well. And we have some free military factories. We need motorized uh, soon rather than later. How many do we have? We, not, we don't have much. So let's bring you to the top. And then my next priority is to get more naval bombers and then more fighters. We now are going to need trade deals for rubber. So let's take as much as we need. Better yet, let's take these three factories for 24 uh, rubber. And now we have a surplus of nine. USSR occupies Poland, the fall of Warsaw. Uh, pretty much the world is at war, but if I can get a puppet with Venezuela, we would do very, very well. Luxembourg has joined the Allies. Uh, the Soviets have taken bits of Poland. They should have free reign over Finland, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Where are the rest of our Marines? Coming on in, hopefully. 24 of 70 days. A lot of our actual units are finally making their way in. Though taking a while. Oh, you know, oh my god. I always, I do this every time. The reason why is because we didn't cancel their freaking garrisons. <laughs> so now all of that extra time, it might be wasted. I hope it doesn't. But uh, we'll see what happens in just a moment. Finally, some real units. All 24 of you. Your entire goal is to create a new front line here. And then drive your way all the way across, the, uh, all the way up to the river. Strategic bombing has been unlocked. Can we gain the giant wakes? Yes, we can. Finally getting us our civilian economy. Uh, we need 95% war score to get the national bonds, which we are nowhere near that. World, excuse me, world tension. But at least we can change our economy up, giving us a lot more civilian factories to put to good use. Currently, we are lacking to do that. So let's change that up. We need to start building up our naval presence. And we do need to start building up our military presence. But I'm going to be building a few dockyards first. And then I'm going to start rebuilding uh, a lot of military factories. Only because I'm expecting to be pumping out a lot of planes. And we'll see how this works entirely. I think I just canceled one that was at the very top. Sad life. <laughs> Okay, so our actual units are finally arriving. If we could take this dockyard, we would do very well. But our marines are taking their time. 51 of 70 days. The Netherlands has capitulated. That is not good. So Europe is falling. 
But I mean, it's, it's kind of good for me because I'm going to be able to build up a very powerful army. And the rest of the world won't be able to keep up other than the Soviet Union. We are in 1939. Let's unlock computing machine. Giving us a further reduction of 5% for all of our research. So it's a small investment, but I think it'll be worthwhile. Belgium has capitulated. Like I said, these units will start when we can. 67 of 70 days. I would like to move into Caracas. And I think we're actually winning these fights. Um, but we'll see what happens. Here we go, about to take the port. And we, we need to run over to Caracas as fast as possible. France has capitulated. The fall of Paris. Nation of France has declared war on Free France. Free France, Flight of Rudolf Hess, Second Armistice of Compagnie. French government under the Marshal will continue to administer most of southern France, while the rest of the country falls to a German occupation zone. I have not seen that happen. So obviously we have Free France instead of Italy taking over all this area. Okay, all of you have done a great job. You have your front line, but you don't have your offensive line. And I want to edit this to go like that. Activate, activate. All 24 of you are going to activate your plan. German interests in Scandinavia. Ah, uh, ooh, okay, so... Ah, uh, hmm. Invite to faction the United Kingdom, not yet. Uh, oh my goodness. Let's give everybody... Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Let's just uh, help a lot. Uh, we'll give everybody military access, but we're not going to join a faction just yet. France has fallen. This is all military access. Okay, non-aggression pact. Don't think I'm going to do those. Send volunteers. No thank you. Non-aggression pact. Non-aggression pact. Okay, but as soon as I take Venezuela, we fe I feel like we are going to be in a very good position. Assuming that Venezuela falls uh, before they can really do anything. Luckily, all their units now are taking attrition. They have a naval base, but it's not all that great. Once they lose their capital, there's really nothing they're going to be able to do. I don't know why these units are all the way over. Okay, something happened. Venezuela as our enemy, the American-Venezuelan War. So Italy has joined in against me. Uh, who am I at war with? I, I guess I'm at war with Italy. Had I have uh, defeated Venezuela earlier, this would not have happened. But, you know, it is what it is. All I need to do is just take out this port. Denmark has capitulated. Japan has joined in on the war against us. Okay, so what's happening? I wish I could find out. Let's go to... Hmm, who hates us? Like, that's what I want to know. Okay, Italy, Japan, Venezuela. Why doesn't it tell us who they are? But anyway, we are at war with Japan. I don't want to lose Guam. That's going to be our biggest goal. So let's go ahead and look at our construction. We now need to build uh, level 3 forts in all of these areas and put those at the top. And you go here, you go there. You go to Honolulu. All of these need to go to the top. And we are going to need some better radar stations, eventually. Maybe not yet, but we are going to do that. Uh, Non-aggression pact, cancel these all. Military access, sure. Military access, sure. I don't want to join the allies just yet. But I, all I want to do is take this, uh, you know, this, this capital. We are on speed 5. The giant wakes has been unlocked, giving us a civilian economy. Let's start working on the U.S. ACE projects, getting a lot of uh, military factories. Better yet, 
We have 100% war goal, so issuing war bonds will take away the Great Depression, giving us 30% more factories. All right, are we finally going to take their capital? I hope so. This should capitulate them. Yeah, there they go. Venezuela has capitulated. Uh, all of you will move in. And we now need to move these Marines to the front lines of Wake Island. Transporting this particular route has a 0% chance of being uh, sunk. All of you need to make your way, I suppose, to Honolulu. And we have some free research. Let's continue working on our navy, because that's going to be our priority. I need some destroyers, and I really do need to start building up my uh, air force as well. So, obviously, my priority is to build these coastal forts. Japanese diplomats in Berlin. That's not good either. Looking at our production, how are our naval bombers coming along? They're coming along nicely, but we do need rubber once again. Looking at trade, looking for rubber. I want to take as much as I can. Non-aggression pact with Denmark. No thank you. All, 20, all 24 of you are once again going to be garrisoning whatever areas we can find. I'm going to build some military police and station them down in Venezuela. And that's what I'm going to do. Don't think I'm going to worry about Hawaii, but I do need to worry about Puerto Rico, and I do need to worry about Panama. So all of those units will move. Oh, we have some unread naval battles. Looks like a lot of defeats, but that'll change eventually. Yikes. We are in a lot of combat. But we obviously are going to be able to outproduce the enemy. All we need to do is keep our uh, units living. <laughs> All of these garrisons here. I wonder why these aren't National Guard. But they need to change eventually. And because we have a level 3 fort, the enemy has a big uh, disadvantage. But it says we're losing. That's not good. Can we send over our fleet anywhere? We have five ships. I wonder if I can search and destroy here inside the region. Maybe try to prevent this naval invasion. It says we're losing. I hope we don't die. But we might. Guam has been taken. Not good. Uh, the rest of these units probably... Okay, let's find all these units. What we need to do is change all of these to National Guard divisions. And then finally, they should be adding uh, some additional units as well. Let's create some National Guard regiments. We are going to add this to our defense. So National Guard, let's create about... We have eight. Uh, let's do another eight for now. Looking at our actual National Guard garrisons. We have single companies, recon companies, engineering companies. But we don't have any artillery. So maybe adding one little regiment of artillery. Maybe adding logistics companies uh, should be our best option. And that's what I'm actually going to do. So looking at construction... Or production, I should say. Heavy cruiser, let's only build one of you. And then switch that up in a moment. We are going to start needing artillery. We currently have a surplus of 1.1 thousand. The fall of Cairo, a significant development. I can't believe we lost Guam. Didn't think that would actually happen. Uh, I would like better transports. 50% reduction times for our naval invasions. And yeah, we are in a war with Japan, but luckily we aren't in a war with the German Reich just yet. We have a better Grumman uh, naval bomber, so what we're going to do is look at our dockyards. Uh, we are going to change the naval bomber to the Grumman uh, Avenger A1. If we go and add more range and we add an engine, it's going to require 55 air experience. Excuse me, I need to add reliability. So all we're doing is adding more range, and they keep the current reliability, so we will take that. 
and then start building the Avenger A1. It should be there somewhere. Here it is. And we're probably going to need to keep pumping these out. Obviously, the artillery come first. Uh, infantry equipment need to come as well. And then support equipment. We don't need these fighters, but at, well, well, we'll keep producing them for now. Research slot available. We need to build a heavy fighter, the P-47 Thunderbolt. Let's find our current fighters. We have free dockyards as well. So that means probably producing the heavy cruiser all the way inside LA. We have 35 units. Okay, so what I need to do now is we just unlocked a heavy cruiser. Looking at production, it might be a good idea. I don't think we're going to get another heavy cruiser for a while. But maybe even, you know what, I think we're going to upgrade... We're not going to get one for four years. So let's upgrade our... Unless we can get a Baltimore class. Yes, we can. We're going to use all of our Navy experience on the Baltimore class, because we don't even have that. Okay, well, here I am. I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in our next adventure.